I'm an avid shopper or consumer, as some would say, and I have six kids and I like a good deal. Let me show you the things that I think are a great deal. Stocking stuffers, oh my gosh, one-stop shop. Teens, preteens, little kids, big kids, hubby, they have it all for stocking. Hi guys, we're going Christmas shopping today. We are at Ross. There's tons of things in here, great ideas. Make sure you come here before you go to the big box stores because you're gonna save a fortune. Starting off at Burlington, hands down my favorite section is the art section. My older girls are into art and you can find acrylic pens, professional sketch pads, and sketching art sets. There's everything that you need here to make a really cool artsy gift for your preteens. DIY soaps and lotions and lip glosses and bath bombs. We got rock painting sets, bracelet making kits. These are all really good deal at a highly discounted price, anywhere from $4.99 to $12.99. When they're regularly, I'd say $12.99 to $30 in a bigger store. Do not skip on the gaming section. I found lots of games my kids are gonna love, a lot of nostalgic ones that I had to have my kids experience. I was checking the price on my phone. It was anywhere from one third to one half off. Icy and Dippin' Dots smell Play-Doh. Um, how unique is that? And this little Rubik set was perfect to split up for a stocking stuffer for a little boy. Cocomelon, live pets, mini kitchens, a big selection of kids' headphones from little kids to big kids. The teen section had a really good section of gaming ones with the microphone. These are really good prices, like a fourth of the price of what you would find on Amazon. This little wood puzzle kit with three wooden puzzles, really good quality, was only five bucks. Had to grab that for my nephew. A cash register is a really good idea for a little one learning how to count money. A cute little karaoke party machine for only 12 $12.99 and they had a great selection of little toddler book sets. Really impressed with the whole musical instrument section. They had a wide variety of different pianos all the way from two to I'd say maybe 18 to 20 years old. Lots of different styles. Also had lots of karaoke microphones, ones with stands, ones you can walk around with, ukuleles, little guitars, just such a good section. You can literally get all these and start a little band with a bunch of your kids. If you have a little one that loves like Play-Dohs and Connect Sands, they have a whole like sensory area and these are so much cheaper than Amazon and Target. I think they saved anywhere from eight to $12 for each one. And for your little beauty, there's lots of makeup kits galore. Make sure you check all around the store because they're hidden in different areas. And for those hard to gift people like preteens and teens, the snack section is Fire. I got all of my kids volcano chicken noodle ramen-y kimchi type of things and I think they're gonna love this more than the more expensive gifts. They have lots of specialty hot sauces and seasonings and just random things that I think your kids will get a kick out of. If you're shopping for a little boy between two and eight years old this is like little boy heaven. Train tracks, cars, any type of car you can possibly imagine. School buses. You know, little boys are little boys. They don't care about the price tag. They just care about what sounds come out of it and what they can do with it. So definitely come here first. They also had big surprise eggs for only $19.99. And their dinosaur section, they had a whole row of different types of dinosaurs that moved and did all sorts of different things. I got to introduce my little boy to a dinosaur and he was just like, hmm, I think I like dinosaurs. The Nerf guns section had deep discounts from anywhere from $4.99 all the way up to $19.99. I price matched some of the ones that were bigger that were $19.99. They were $34 and $40 dollars at some of the bigger stores and some of these are for 14 years and over so they are like good quality big ones for older kids as well as little ones i am the kind of mom that has a mom closet stocked with birthday gifts ready to go so i don't have to run to the store this is a perfect time to be stocking up on different gifts to just have on hand for your kids friends birthday parties 
Walkie talkies are a perfect gift if your little one plays outside in the neighborhood, you can contact them. Don't forget to look up at the top shelf. They have cute little doctor kits and adorable cases for only $10. I love this type of thing when they're all in one little compartment. It really helps to keep all the little pieces together when it comes with a little carrying case. And this little cutie was only $4.19. I had to grab it and stash in my birthday pile. Stuff Stuffies galore, anywhere from $4.99 to $12.99. They have all different types of stuffies. And little girl heaven over here, bath sets, nail beauty sets, little mini brand type of unicorn surprise things, and any type of baby doll you could imagine with the strollers and high chairs and play pins. I spotted some baby alives that were definitely half off and they had some really cute dress up things like those plastic heels and plastic jewelry to go with it. Now this section I was thoroughly impressed with. Real brand name Barbies for like half off. $10, $12.99. There was a, such a good selection and price matching them, I was shocked. Like these little Barbie reveal things, these are $16.99 on sale and clearance at big box stores for only $6.99 here. These little surprise toys are super popular and they had little pet rescue ones, little unicorns, mini brands, LOLs, lots of little surprise ones. Indie kids are adorable. I don't know what it is, but they're so cute. Another popular toy is these scribbles and they are definitely one third of the price here. A unique toy is these little surprise fairy things. They're only $4.99. If you're looking for a big wow gift, look in the middle section. We've got large gifts here. We've got kits and live music, guitars and beauty stations, kitchens. I even found this really cute diary set, which any preteen would absolutely love. But any large item toys you can find in the aisles or underneath the clothing. They even had easy bake ovens, little push cart toys, a little bath spa that I totally should have got that you can add Orbeez to. I think I'm going to go back for this, but they have really good stuff underneath. Burlington is known for their jackets, name brand, thick, really good quality stylish jackets. And for the boys, check out the sports section. Maybe your girl wants to start some yoga, some really cool room decor and lighting things going on here that are really good for actually any age section right here closer to the checkout is really good for preteens and teens and anyone with gaming or techie type of stuff. They had switch um, cases and rubber sleeves and extra controllers and lots of gaming stuff. Light up keyboards. More of random little beauty kits were also in this section up high. And this my friends is your one-stop shop stocking stuff. Baby shark things, these cute little Mr. and Mr. Potato Head things, any tech type of things. I think if you have a teen that drives, make sure you get them a phone holder for safety. We've got AirPod cases, extra lightning chargers, anything you can think of. Phone cases, battery packs. This is like pre-teen, techie, teen driving car heaven. They had a huge selection of different AirPods. This is a really great section. Okay, just got out of Burlington. Some really, really good deals. You literally could go in here and get all of your Christmas shopping done if kids didn't ask for like something super expensive. But things are a great price here. Barbies, LOLs, trains. I'm really shocked at the amount of things. I'm also gonna be posting fast paced videos of every single category that I think are the best finds at Ross and Burlington over on my Instagram and some really cool stocking stuff for ideas. So follow me over there if you're not already. So we're going to head into Ross and see what else they have. I'm only going to film things that I did not see at Burlington to make the most of our time here on this video. Definitely learned my lesson from the last door. Put the baby in the baby carrier. He was all over the place. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The main things I wanted to compare were right in front, so that is a plus. So check this out. This Barbie thing or Majigger color reveal thing is $16.99 here. It was $12.99 at Burlington. 
to compare. But all these other things like OMG, LOL dolls, I didn't see those full size ones at Burlington, so definitely get those here. They had more teen gifts here in the upper section, which I think was good. And if you love Ferrer Rocher, you gotta go here. Here's the difference man, dad, uncle, husband type gifts. They had way more of a selection here that they did not have at Burlington. This is a really cool idea to like stash that cash. So I definitely recommend coming here for your adult son or husband or uncle or dad or maybe some white elephant gifts for a man. This is definitely the place to go. I did not see a section like this in Burlington. I spotted a lot of funny like gag gifts so i think these are definitely good for like secret santa or white elephant they did have a good selection of like drink stuff like cool ice cubes and whiskey stones all that lots of comfy stuff here they had a really good section of beanies they did at Burlington as well, but here they have sports ones. Like we're Niner fans, go Niners. I saw a lot there. So they've got Green Bay Packers and Raiders and all that. I do like their selection of gloves here. I felt like at Burlington, they had a lot more snow ones any type of clippers you can possibly imagine for beards and for hair, any type of shavings and cologne. They did have a smaller section there, but I think there's a lot more for the men here. So all the big ticket items, like the big stuff were in the middle here. I don't know. I think that it's kind of like a 50-50 with the big ticket items here, but Burlington definitely won for the amount of gifts that they had. They only had these two small sections here at Ross. Some of the same things, some of different things. It's definitely worth going to both, but if you are on a time restriction, just go to Burlington. Burlington is like amazing for kids' toys. Those Roblox fans, I found lots of little figurines here that I did not see at Burlington. My favorite thing to do is rip them open and separate them and use them as stocking stuffers. The items that I saw here that I did not see at Burlington were this cool specialty sushi play set. And I know, I know, cringe, but they did have a good selection of slime making kits and glitter things. There were a few dinosaurs, but not nearly as much as there was at Burlington. Also some Nerf guns, but they look like they were more of the off-brand ones versus the real ones. Lots of Play-Doh sets. I actually thought this one was really cool and good to break up for stocking stuffers. They did have a small little toy section in the middle between the clothes and the jackets, and they did have some good things, but I don't know, guys. It just The selection was not there as much as it was at Burlington. One of the tables had a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog stuff and some magic making kits, which I didn't see over at Burlington. So if you need that, definitely go there. But one of the best things were these $19.99 skateboards, Rainbow, High Doll, and Tony Hawk. So that was a good find if you're looking for a skateboard. Kid Craft, my favorite brand for good quality toddler stuff. They had a kitchen there, which is a really good deal. And then this little kit was cute. I thought it was unique. It was like a journal studio. And the sushi book and serving station, I'm definitely getting this for my preteen. So these are the items right here in the middle in this random area that I didn't see over at Burlington, which was a really cool idea. I think a humidifier and a calligraphy kit is perfect for a teen girl. If you all know me, you know my love for shoes is real. And I love Ross's shoes. We've got K-Swiss, we've got Nike, we've got Echo. I spotted some really cute Vans. Skechers are good quality. Really cute boots for little boys. Reeboks, oh my gosh, those are the classics, y'all. Really cute stuff here at really good highly discounted prices. So if you need school shoes, cute boots for the winter, or dress shoes for your kids, this is the place to go. I even spotted some Uggs and Timberland brands, which were adorable. Every year, I always get my kids at least one new pair of shoes. I have six of them, and they go through shoes pretty quickly, and I always want them looking fresh. Look at these Nike boots. How cute is that? only $30. I always upgrade my makeup bags for travel or at home here at Ross or Burlington. I feel like Ross has a better beauty section and they had cute purses, but Burlington had way better selection. I really like this DK and Y one. I regret not getting it. 
They did have some really cute stocking stuffers. I would totally rip that open and put it in stockings. I love all the little tweezers here and face masks and bath eye patch things. Like they have a lot of stuff here, including slipper and robe kits, which are perfect for mother-in-law, mom, flat irons, hair dryers. There was a really good selection here. All right, so let's talk about this. Who won? I would say for little kids, toddlers, boys and girls, hands down Burlington won. The selection of toys is far exceeds what Ross has and I would definitely go there first. Even though there are a couple Barbie items that were cheaper at Ross, the fact that I could go in there and it's one-stop shop for all my little ones from 18 months all the way to nine years old, Burlington won. Now, preteen girls, Burlington definitely won. The art section was absolutely amazing. The different activities and building type things, they won for sure. But let's talk about men, dads, Ross, hands down, one with an exception of course of the jackets and kind of like the techie stuff and stocking stuffers which i left out purposely some unique teen boy stocking stuffers because i'm going to post it on my instagram you need to check it out and follow me over there also definitely won the man section middle-aged boys from i'd say 8 to 12 years old that are into like sports and gaming things like that burlington definitely won i didn't even see one single basketball at ross Burlington also had a good selection of like workout stuff, like dumbbells, sweatbands, things like that, that Ross did not have. So as far as clothes and shoes, Ross won shoes for everyone, all the way down from baby little soft Nikes to Timberland boots, Ross killed it with the shoes. But jackets at Burlington, Jordan, Nike, Timberland, like they have really good quality jackets at Burlington. Ross definitely won with like sweatsuits and sets for little girls and sports ones for boys. Burlington definitely has more dress attire, like ties and dress shirts and cuter dresses, I'd say. So who won? It's actually up to you, I'd say, depending on your kids' interests and ages and what specifically you're shopping for this year. But I know with my crew, 18 months, eight, nine and three 11 year olds i'm going to burlington thank you guys for watching let me know down below who you think won what were your favorite items and what shop with me i should do next merry christmas